Good morning, guys. It is currently Monday morning. Uh, what's the date? February 11th. Original plan was to wake up this morning and show you guys how I make breakfast, the process of making that, making my omelet, and then kind of explain, you know, my thinking behind it and how it fits into my daily nutrition. I should also mention that I was just in a mini cut for a couple weeks and now I am planning to, that's my alarm. It's the worst noise ever. I was in a mini cut for a couple weeks. Now, as of literally today, I'm planning to start building, start lean bulking. I, w I was hoping to be very precise with calories and start increasing them week by week slightly. Last night may or may not have been under the influence of something. I ate an absurd amount of food. I had like 300 calories left in my daily calories. I ate, let's see, piece of chicken bacon ranch pizza, peanut butter cup cookie, bowl of ice cream, and then I think I ate three and a half more cookies, two M&M, one more peanut butter cup. Then I came back home and I ate two pieces of banana bread that Ellie made, but not like small pieces, like the thickest pieces I could cut. Pray to God that was it, because that's like a day's worth of calories, but do I regret it? Tiny bit, but I there's nothing I can do about it now, and it tasted amazing, so. Gonna move forward and Go from here. Fuck this one. Can't get enough. Can't get enough. Bye, bye, bye. East side, west side, worldwide. I wrote a right out. Now nah, I ain't got no kids yet, but this right here's for bye, practice. Bye, I hate to get the seats in the bins wet, but that's how good I your ass is. Day. Make an old man get his glasses, make Wesley pay his taxes, bye, then follow your moves all week on Twitter. Probably make a gay I nigga reconsider. You now rockin' with the best man. Dress game down to the sex bye, game. Bye, Won't grab but the boy been blessed. So the original plan, like I said, was to record a video talking about my breakfast. I'm not really one to interrupt the natural flow of my ideas. Since I ate way too much food last night, I decided I'm going to scratch the original idea uh, and talk about recovering from a binge, you know, coming back from this sudden onslaught of tons of food. If you are a real person and you make real mistakes and you want to move forward with fat loss. Without further ado, I will give you my first tip, which is relax, relax. Take a deep breath and relax because calories are just calories. That's all they are. It's just food coming into your body. It's energy in the form of whatever, a cookie, a piece of pizza, whatever you binged on. These things happen. Even the most elite of bodybuilders have these moments. Food looks good and you will eat a little more than you plan to and that's okay. There's a good chance you won't absorb all those calories, but even if you do, for whatever reason, absorb every single one of those calories, you can still fight it back. You can still keep making progress. It's very much doable. Tip number two, is to consider your next steps. So whether or not this is uh, forgivable, it is, but uh, whether or not it's forgivable, you do have to acknowledge that it happened and move forward. So I like to think that you kind of have two options here with step number two. The first option is you can just go back to normal. You can, if you were tracking calories, you can go back to doing that and stay at your normal uh, calorie intake that you were set at and just continue making progress as normal. This will be like a tiny fluctuation in that and I'd say within a week or two, you'll be totally back to normal, if not sooner. This option is kind of the go-to. It's definitely the best option for most people. It's just a bit slower than the other option. And that option is to then lower your calories either today, uh, the day after, or just kind of the next couple days in general. I'm not gonna gain weight just because I ate a few extra calories one day. Your body works on an overall scale, so if anything, focus on the overall week as opposed to just the day. Next couple days, you can eat a few less calories and that can help in the grand scheme of things uh, hit the number you were gonna hit originally. Next is tip number uh, 2.5. It's kind of a little bonus one. I wanted to just do three tips, but this is a bonus one. Uh, ignore the bloating that you will undoubtedly experience when you have that much carbs, all of a sudden your body is gonna be naturally uh, prone to store a lot of water weight and that's gonna make you feel bloated. It's also just a ton of food. I feel super full. I'm probably not gonna eat for at least a couple more hours. I 
feel borderline sick, I ate so much food. Ignore the bloat, that's not just like you gain this ton of fat all of a sudden, that's not how it works. So don't let that get to your head. Tip number three is this. Try to be active the next day or the next couple days. Don't be active in terms of do it, doing a ton of cardio as punishment for this overeating or you know doing a bunch of sprints to try to burn all these calories off. It doesn't, that's not gonna work. Your, your body craves activity. Your body craves using this energy that it's taking in. So help it do that. Help it use some of this excess energy that you took in, not as punishment like I said, but more so as nourishment. You wanna take care of your body, give it that activity that it needs, give it a chance to use this excess energy a little bit. Your body does appreciate and notice that kind of thing and it will make a difference. That's my general advice and that's today's video. Nothing too crazy, no workout today. Just wanted to explain to you guys how I would recover from something like that and show you that even I make mistakes. Also understand that unless for some reason you're competing for a bodybuilding competition or you're in this urgent uh, timeline of fat loss, fat loss is not urgent and it shouldn't be a rushed process. It should be something that you take slowly, that you're patient with, and that you understand takes time because slower fat loss is more sustainable fat loss. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I would really appreciate a subscription. Uh, go ahead and like this as well. That would mean a lot to me. Feel free to give me a comment let me know your thoughts on this topic and if there's a similar or a different topic that you'd want to hear more about, don't hesitate to let me know. It can have to do with fitness, lifestyle, nutrition, whatever it is. I'm happy to talk to you guys and happy to help out. Much love. I ain't got no kids yet, but this right here's for practice. I hate to get the seats in the bins wet, but that's how good your ass.